Hello YouTube, this is a Satsu 5, and yes, we're doing another Pork Man video. Um, here, somewhat recently, I've been introduced to a company by two people on uh, YouTube uh, about G10 knives. They're called TW Brands, and they make G10 knives. And uh, I was kind of interested in them uh, from the one video, uh, just because it seemed like maybe it'd be a cool idea. Then I saw another video where someone did a review on it, and they said it would make a good dive knife, general purpose, kind of last ditch knife, and so on and so forth. And uh, the reason why these knives were invented was so they can be a non-metallic, concealable knife to get on airplanes. So, uh, uh, we're going to talk about that later. But, uh, first off, this is my G10 knife. This, uh, a fairly good size one. We figured if if you're gonna go, might as well go big. And uh, uh, it's a Tano shape. We thought that'd be the best uh, candidate for this meat cut test. The TW Brands knife has a very good knife design. I'd like to see it in metal, but uh, it's a drop point. It's a drop point. But uh, kind of reminds me of the Azula in a way. Exactly. Um, very ergonomic. Very good knife design. But I'm not so sure if it would be the best design for a G10 knife. So, basically you have kind of a one cliff and then you have an uh, angled up uh, edge right here. So you get very abrupt angles. Um, and we're going to test this with several different cutting mediums to see if it would be a good, one, self-defense knife and two, a good knife to carry with you if you're scuba diving. I'm a scuba diver so this interests me and I want to learn uh, as much as I can of this knife's ability before I take it out diving because it's non-metallic is obviously not going to rust. I will say this uh, my brother made this knife for me got a little bit of pork loin in my eye <laughs> uh, but my brother made this um, knife for me uh, by my request I commissioned it uh, and um, although he's a very good knife maker for his metal knives are concerned, neck knives. We are probably not the most knowledgeable when it comes to G10 knives. So, uh, I'm not saying this is better or worse than a uh, TW Brands knife. I don't know, I never handled one. Maybe later I will. But for right now, this is what we're using on this test. This is a very small pork loin, um, wrapped with saran wrap to represent skin. And, uh, First, I'm just going to do a little uh, thrust. That took very little effort. And uh, the reason why we went with the Tano, Austin explained it, but we have abrupt edges, and when you have something that's not very sharp to begin with, uh, just say like an animal's claw, you want abrupt edges in order to, for penetration and, uh, you know, just ease of cutting. There we go. We have some tissue. So, we got about that deep. I'll do it again. That got a little bit deeper. How much effort? Very little effort. It's pointy. So we have proven that this makes a good shank when it comes to soft tissue. Uh, never mind clothing and leather jackets and stuff. But for um, just, that's about how much pressure I'm putting into it. Uh, it is getting through the meat. Now, I'm going to make a, I'm not going to snap cut because this is a very light knife, lightweight knife and it's not the sharpest knife in the world. Well, oh well, we'll go ahead and do a snap cut. Uh, you think you can just cut the saran wrap or the actual? Let's see. It's barely digging into the meat. It's just cutting the saran wrap. So you, you're probably going to get some scratches with um, uh, a snap cut, maybe. Yeah, those are pretty superficial. Uh, the, the saran wrap makes it look exaggerated, but when we actually get to the, uh, the meat, let's see, I'll focus one second. When we actually get to the meat, there's not a whole lot of damage going on. Okay, so now I'm going to make a uh, a contact slash with this area right here. I'll, I would start with the bottom of the Tano and make it slide. Okay. Now 
that is very that's, respectable. That's serious. That's a pretty serious cut. Uh, get, let's see, move your hand real quick. I got it. Okay. I definitely wouldn't want to get cut with that. And uh, that, depending on what you strike, that's going all the way to the bone. We didn't get to the actual uh, bamboo. Bamboo, but let's see, stick the knife in there and see if we can see how deep it is. And pull the knife out. So a cut that deep with the G10 knife. Okay, I'm gonna make another one right here or the meat's a little bit thinner. Um, didn't really cut that well that time. Got a superficial cut right here. Here it was a little bit deeper. Let's see, let's turn it. Yeah. Let's try a little bit higher. Ooh. That looks serious. Yeah, it's thin. It's a thin piece. I was actually aiming for right here, uh, but that's a good chunk. Uh, I want to hit right here, and uh, I think it's getting hard to tell what's happening now because of the saran wrap. Yeah, uh, it really didn't cut the meat that time that well. Uh, a lot of that had to do with this moving, but um, we got some decent cuts out of it. Now, I'm going to cut film, and we're going to do some different tests. Hello, YouTube. This is Asatsu 5. As you can see, we did a pork man test. That was for the defensive side of the G10 knife. But now I want to test the utility of the G10 knife. Um, I'm a scuba diver, and um, so this knife was advertised by another YouTuber. It's a great, great swimming, snorkeling, and scuba diving knife. And um, I want to see how well it walks. Of course, we got two strands of 550 cord. And let's, let's not, you don't see a lot of 550 cord underwater, but I thought, hey, everybody cuts a 550 cord at some point or another. Let's test it out. I'm not looking for a single cut. It's probably going to be a sawing motion, but it's tight. Let's see what happens. Okay. I don't know what happened there. It was just a slip knot, <laughs> and you cut one side so the pressure was relieved. Okay, let's try this again. Well, there you go. It'll cut uh, a 550 cord with a sawing motion. Cut film. Cut. All right, now we're cutting number 12 bank line. I decided to get pink in the hopes that it'll be more visually appealing to you. Uh, I think it's a pretty color pink, but want to do the same thing. I'm going to wrap it around the um, bamboo. And I can't remember if I said this, but this is number 18 bank line. And uh, we're going to try sawing through it. You could possibly get tangled up in this with uh, when you're scuba diving. And it cut through it pretty quickly. Cut film. Hello YouTube, this is Satsu 5 and this is going to be the 40 pound test, pa 40 pound monofilament. I know you probably can't see it, but you're just going to have to trust me, it's there. Now, I'm not 100% sure if it cut it. It probably did catch it. Let's try doing that, the loop. It cut monofilament. I'm surprised. I'm really pleasantly surprised. Me and my brother are going to retire to the shade to do a follow-up video on this.